after you join chain one pull this loop and in the same stitch we make a fan okay one double crochet and then two chain two and two more double crochet in the same space like this and then you skip two one two on the third one make a fan again two double crochet chain two two double crochet in the same space Ch skip two one two on the third one make the fan again chain two in the same stitch I'll see you here okay when you are here we should have two stitches left before we join here but I have but I have three I don't know where I lost count but that's okay I'll just join here and then slip stitch into the next stitch chain one and do a double crochet there and in the chain space do a fan again two double crochet chain two two double crochet and one double crochet here like this I'll show you again skip one stitch and into the next double crochet in the chain space you make a fan two double crochet chain two two double crochet in the same space and here you have one double crochet like this skip one and then double crochet in the chain space make a fan and double crochet and continue like this all around join with a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next and you start the round again and then double crochet in the next stitch and in the chain space make double crochet chain two double crochet and then two double crochet this is one two and then skip one next double crochet double crochet and in the chain space one double crochet chain two double crochet and double crochet double crochet and skip one into the next like this okay I'll see you here and join with a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch again chain one and we repeat what we just did okay two double crochet in the chain space a V two double crochets skip one into the next and the chain space make a V and count your row rounds of double crochet come from here okay one two three four this is four you will need six more rounds okay so we after 10 rounds with this number of double crochet okay 10 rounds one two three four and you will need six more after that i'll show you how to increase again and how to do this part 
okay here after 10 rounds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and in this round we will increase okay so we slip stitch into the next stitch chain one and start as usual one double crochet and in the chain space we will do two double crochets chain two two double crochets this is our first increase and for this part we do the same thing one double crochet two double crochet like this and again we skip one and then here one double crochet two double crochet and in the chain space two double crochet chain two two double crochet and again here we have one double crochet two double crochet so continue this round like this i'll see you here and when you are here join with a slip stitch okay and we will slip stitch into the next stitch like this and then do the double crochet again in this round we will have three double crochets from this side and a V in a chain space here we have two one two here we will have three one two three and then in the chain space one double crochet chain two and one double crochet and we will have one two and three double crochet like this skip one again you will have one two three and chain space double crochet chain two double crochet then one two three and continue this round like this i'll see you at the end again so after you join here i will cut my yarn but if you want it if you want the dress to be longer then you can continue to repeat this round one more time okay i will cut here and then secure that i will use this pink yarn for this part and this is an acrylic yarn if you have the same kind of yarn like this one with i mean you can use the same kind of yarn with a different color okay but i'm using this acrylic and then you first make a slip knot and put this from this is where you join so here you will insert your hook and chain three one two three and this counts as a first double crochet so two three and in the chain space we do the same thing double crochet chain two double crochet and again we will have three double crochet one two three And again skip one and here you have one double crochet 
two, three, add in the chain space, again one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, then one, two, three, and can continue like this, I'll see you here. When you are here also, join with the slip stitch. Cut the yarn like this, and you can use a needle, or you can either use your crochet hook. And take this tail into the stitches, okay. And for this, also, you can do the same. This is how it looks, it looks really, really cute. And we will work this neckline now, so make a slip knot again. And from where you start here insert your hook there and chain one and then single crochet put this here okay make ten ten single crochet so this chain one count as the first okay like this and in here I'll show you so 10 single crochets 2 4 6 8 10 and then only the back loop two three and close and then we do single crochet again in every stitch okay when you are here also i'll show you here also you have one and this corner and then three you have one two three and two three back loop only okay ah, like that so single crochet again in every stitch and when you are at this corner also i'll show you so here also we should do the same one two three and like that and continue okay and when you are here also do the same thing in here also one single crochet and turn chain three one two three and then single crochet again in this first single crochet this chain three will do as a button hole okay like this one See? and for this round you can work one single crochet in every stitch okay I'll see you at the end of this round cut your yarn again and secure you can use your hook to take this tail into the stitches okay this is a beautiful dress slip knot again and from this right side insert your hook here and 
we will just do single crochet in every stitch okay I'll see you with the front part when you are here also in this chain space here one single crochet and single crochet here and then single crochet chain one and again single crochet in every stitch this chain one is not a single crochet here okay and single crochet in every stitch i see you here when you are here join in top on top of this single crochet like that and then cut your yarn secure that so. slip knot again and for the sleeve also insert your hook here so you do the same as you did in this one okay do exactly the same two rounds of single crochet and cut your yarn for the flower make a slip knot chain four one two three four and in the first chain slip stitch and insert your hook into this ring make single crochet I will make seven single crochets that's three four five six seven slip stitch And chain three yarn over and in that same stitch pull yarn over in the same stitch again I'll do it four times as three this is four and through all the loops like that and then chain three again one two three and in that same stitch make a slip stitch a slip stitch into the next chain three one two three and you repeat this one two three four One, two, three, like that, and you continue. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven puff here, and then slip stitch into the last one and cut your yarn cut your yarn so you can sew this part into the dress so like that then you secure and then 
if you like you can make two or three flowers like this okay and show this here and this is our dress so you insert your flowers here and then i will upload a video for the shrug as well so please do subscribe and thank you for watching